everybody welcome back to my channel today we're here to do my setups for June as you can see I've already started doing this one I started talking and filling it out and then realized I forgot to hit record um, but we're gonna set up my weekly check-in and my sinking funds transaction log well this one is all set up there's nothing to do there and then my debt tracker page and as you can see, I've already got the stickers out. These, This kit is from Caffeinated Kate. But I'm going to kind of give an overview of what I've got going on here. Um, if you watched my June budget, I'm going to start doing... Um, I've got three uh, cash envelopes that I'm going to start using. And one of them is for household stuff. One of them is for eating out. And one of them is for, like, my allowance. And that's just, like... Like my extra, oh, I need to pick this up real quick. Um, like my fun stuff. So as all as usual, I budgeted $70 for fuel. Um, I did $400 for groceries and $100 for household stuff. And um, this one I'm going to pull out in cash to use. And then I've got $150 for eating out. And that is so high because... Me and one of my friends go out to eat um, almost every Saturday, and there's five Saturdays in June. And so I just wanted to make sure that there was definitely enough um, for that. So that is why that's so high. And then, so I'm also doing my unbudgeted, of course. And I've got two no-spend weeks. We'll kind of see how that goes. I haven't really been paying any mind to that which is terrible. But let's go ahead and start writing in my sinking funds. Okay. So I've got... auto insurance, which I just switched in May. Um, a beauty which is kind of like my catch-all for like my makeup and I don't really buy it that often um, so I haven't put any money into that yet um, car maintenance and mine is still under its warranty but there are some things the warranty doesn't cover like um, I need to replace my windshield I need to fix a mirror and warranty doesn't cover things like that so I have car tags, Christmas, clothes for Declan, clothes for me, um, debt payoff, Declan's activities. Declan's birthday, which I'm probably going to start spending some stuff out of that or putting it into it, um, just because there are some things that I have to do, like reserve a space, and here it's almost impossible if you wait too long. Um, I know the last couple years, the place that I wanted to have his birthday at they told me that I should have booked the space in February for his November birthday. Um, so that's kind of how that goes. Expense savings, gifts, holidays. And um, this holidays fund kind of encompasses all the holidays except Christmas, like um, Easter, Halloween, anything that I need to buy stuff for uh, comes out of that. Easter, holiday, I could pull for like Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever. Uh, medical moving, which I did drain that fund with buying the, my desk, my chair, a bookcase, a coffee table, some stuff when we moved into our house. Uh, pet expenses. Planner life, school supplies, which is kind of the same fund a lot of the time, vacation, 
and vision. Okay, so this, oh, because I put that extra wash in. So last month I had two lines, and this month I only have one. Um, so I can't fill out my start column, obviously. It's still May. Um, but I do, um, I track over, like, I'll write notes. Like, if I have one of these funds is due in June, I'll flip over to May because that's a little easier to show you. Okay. Um... Like, my policy was going to be due in May, but I switched my policy anyway. So, um, I switched policy. I did some shopping there. I got some new furniture. This one had the Life Planner launch. I need to order contacts still. And then, like, my transaction log is for anything going in and coming out of. Um, so, like, anytime I add, this is still... I don't know why I added that four there, but this is still 203. Okay. So, like when I switch back, so like if I, like my auto insurance won't be due again until November, I think. But like if I buy Declan some clothes, I'll put clothes, Declan, the date, how much I spent. Um, like he needed new pants or shorts or something. Um, or if I, um, needed to get a new notebook for school, I'll put school supplies, the amount, date, um, new notebook. And then if I add money into it, like I add a hundred dollars to my auto insurance, I'll be like auto insurance, the date, add a hundred dollars. And usually I just put add to fund here. And that's because I don't put the same amount in every month. So um, it's very important for me to keep track of what goes in and comes out every time. And then this debt tracker is for credit cards and my debt. So I've got four credit cards. And it's uh, Discover, Capital One, I have another Capital One and Wells Fargo. And of course I can't fill out the balances yet because it's still May, but my debt balance page, let me find, um, I'm actually not going to fill that out because I've got, I started putting my auto loan there. But I've got this one that I'm hoping will be paid off before June starts. And then this one will definitely be paid off before June starts. So then I'll just have the two. And I do have more than just the one student loan. But um, I'm going to leave this side blank until we get closer to the month. But anyway, so not a whole lot. This is my paycheck page. And I don't fill anything out until I get paid. But anyway, so that's kind of it for my setups. Not a whole lot going on. It would be more extensive if I showed you guys how I lay my stickers, um, but this laying it down and then filming has just become a lot less stressful for me in regards to getting my videos done, and then they can be much shorter videos for you guys. Instead of watching me put stickers down for 20 minutes, um, you get to like watch me actually go through my process for 10. So um, yeah, that's kind of how that goes. And I hope you guys like it. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.